Hey everybody, it's Brooke with The Buttered Home and welcome to my messy kitchen. As you know, this year we are focusing on true southern dishes and we have gone through several that are must-haves to have in your recipe box and we're going to finish up January with probably the best dessert that you'll ever have. Now, <clears throat> there are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to peach cobbler and we're going to kind of squash some of those for you today. A lot of recipes that you'll find are actually what I consider to be a dump cake. And that's normally whenever you see you've got all the fruit on the bottom and then all the cake on the top. So this is very different. The original recipe for a cobbler <clears throat> kind of looks like cobblestones between sweet dumplings and the fruit that you use. Now, we're using peach because peach is a classic cobbler here in the South, but this recipe can be easily adapted to use for any other type of fruit, seasonal or not, and it's perfectly okay to use fresh versus canned. In fact, today we'll be using canned peaches. <laughs> now, these that I have are in their own juice, and I would recommend that you only get the canned fruit in its own juice because we are putting enough sugar in this recipe already that you don't necessarily need uh, any more sugar <laughs> that comes when you get the ones with the heavy syrup. So this is real easy. Uh, my grandmother and great-grandmother kind of called this the cuppa recipe because it's a cup of this, a cup of this, and a cup of this. So it's real easy to remember and it all goes into a eight and a half by 11 or a nine by 13 pan. Either one is fine. So we are going to go over ahead now and show you how to put it together. So this recipe starts out with a cup of self-rising flour and then we add just a pinch of salt and salt in sweet recipes is also misconstrued uh, to be like an acid reducer and it's not it's actually a flavor enhancer so to that we're going to add one cup of sugar with our salt and our flour and you see, I'm using my trusty easy sifter, <laughs> my whisk, and we are going to sift those together. So that was a cup of self-rising flour, a cup of sugar, and a pinch of salt. So that is your basis for your sweet dumplings for the cobbler. Now to this, we are going to add in a cup of milk. And you can use 2%, you can use 1%, or you can use whole, it really just does not matter. And this is going to be a loose, almost the same consistency as pancake type batter. And you may have some lumps in there because you have equal parts of everything and that is okay. Now that we have all of that in, we are going to add in a whole stick or a half a cup of melted butter. Get it good and mixed in. Okay, so we're gonna set that to the side and then I'm gonna get my pan and I'm just going to lightly spray the bottom and the sides because we don't want it to stick. Then we are going to pour in our wet ingredients. And here is where the uh, different schools of opinion are. on how to do this. A lot of people put the fruit in first. A lot of people put the fruit in and they mix it. <laughs> so we don't wanna do that. So we have our wet ingredients in and then I'm just going to take this 
peaches and just spoon them in evenly, not disturbing them too much and certainly not stirring them. And what this will do is this will cause this wet mixture to puff up around the peaches and envelop them in those sweet, sugary dumplings. And it is fantastic. And in case you're wondering, this is about two cups of sliced canned peaches or, you know, just a 15 ounce can will do just fine. So I have quite a bit of syrup left in my, from my peaches and I'm not going to put that in there. Uh, because like I said, we have a whole cup of sugar in here and now we are about to take about a half a cup of sugar and sprinkle it over the top. And this will give you that wonderful crusty top that will brown beautifully and those sugars will just turn into a crunchy, yummy goodness. So this will go into a 350 degree oven for about one hour, just until it's bubbly and brown on the top. Depending on your oven, it could be a little less, it could be a little bit more. But you will have a gorgeous, beautiful cobbler whenever you are done. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven and then we're gonna come back and show you what it looks like. Hey everybody, we are back. We have finished our hour cook time and my whole house <laughs> smells fantastic. So our peach cobbler is done and we've actually let it sit just a minute so that it can kind of cool before we cut into it and show you the glorious, beautiful difference in texture and the fruit and how it all comes together to make the perfect Southern dessert. Now, um, I spilled over just a little bit, so my pan's kind of messy, but it is fantastic. It's gorgeous. The top is kind of cracked, and some of the fruit has kind of uh, cooked up and created just this wonderful difference in texture of the sweet dumpling. You have some dry uh, of the cake mix or the wet ingredient, and then underneath it is just this beautiful kind of soft pillowy goodness and this is still really hot so let me let me kind of dip it out and that fruit just sits in there and this is Danny's plate so I'm gonna have to scoop out some more <laughs> he's watching me intently so we're gonna put him a good bit on the plate and this way I can show you the texture that I'm talking about. So this makes a crunchy top and then underneath, and it's smoking pretty good, you have almost like a wet dumpling underneath. So you have two different textures that have come about by the way that you didn't disturb it and it makes it absolutely just perfect. And uh, that fruit is just kind of speckled all in there. And it is just a glorious thing. If you've never made peach cobbler before, uh, these are all ingredients in your house that most people probably have. Uh, and it's really easy. It's good to throw together if you have a neighbor or a friend or a family member who may not be feeling well. You can just put this in a throwaway pan cook it up and take it to them and they will know that you care about them. <laughs> so this is how we make and how my mother, both of my grandmothers uh, and my great grandmothers all made peach cobbler. So this in my family is a very old recipe and it's a very basic recipe. The great thing about a lot of what we do is that you can take our recipes and you can half it or you can double it to make more, and you can add different variations to this. At the holidays, if you wanted to add a little cinnamon or nutmeg to give it that warmth, uh, it's totally a customizable recipe. So it's also very good just like it is. So we hope that you have enjoyed this. 
Be sure if you are not already to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and ding the bell so that you can be notified whenever we post new videos. Also be sure that you are following us on our other social media channels at Facebook and Instagram because we do a lot of different things there. Every Monday night at 7.30 Central Time, we cook live on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, so that's a real treat because you can feel like you're in the kitchen with us. We have a real good time. So be sure that you follow us for more great recipes because we have a whole year of Southern cooking on board just for you. So as usual, from the buttered home to your home, we love y'all. Bye.